Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nerd Modon, and I'm going to be doing the next episode of Battlefield News, a video series where I'll be talking about changes or events within a particular Battlefield title. So without further ado, let's get started. So of course, starting things off, there was actually an article released on the news page for Battlelog that talks a little bit about the anti-cheat methods that DICE is going into, especially to clean up the battlefield in many cases. As many of you guys know, cheating is an actual big deal when it comes down to the gaming industry in many accounts. It's usually plaguing a lot more of the first person shooter genre but by itself cheating is definitely something that's been around for a very long time and I don't imagine it's going to be cleaned up anytime soon. However DICE has taken precautions during this to clean up their overall titles especially when it comes down to Battlefield 4. Now just in case you guys are not aware DICE actually introduced their new anti-cheat software called Fair Fight for PC. I don't have any information if this is going to be coming to console at the moment but I do have high hopes for the console platform especially when it comes down to it. Now Fair Fight is a piece of software that is going to be detecting cheaters that are playing in their game. Now one of the most notorious things is for the gaming community is to not be banned if you are a legit player and DICE understands this that's why they have made so many precautions when it comes down to the software in this specific case. Now what Fair Fight does is that it monitors each player's overall gameplay and tries to decipher if they are a legit player or if there's something suspicious going on screen that needs to be further looked into. Now in many cases the action that they're going to be doing may be suspicious in that account and it's usually going to be noted as something that no legit player can do, you know, snapping onto seven or eight targets instantaneous without any minor errors or anything like that. That's definitely something that DICE is going to be taking a look into. Now, this does not mean by any account that that player will be immediately banned just because they did something that might be quote-unquote suspicious. However, this does mean that there will be a little bit of a tab going on with you, and they'll be taking a little bit of further investigation into what your account has. Now, this information does not correlate to just your kill-death ratio or any statistic that you have. It's going to be a lot more further investigated in the aspects that maybe you have other punk buster bands currently on other profiles that you've had in the past or they'll just be checking out to see if it's a very consistent thing if you happen to be getting a ton of headshots when maybe you shouldn't be if you have a very high headshot count especially when it comes down to performance issues but DICE wants to make it abundantly clear that they do not just ban players because they had a couple of good games or anything like that you can still be a very good player and not have to worry about this if you're somebody that's never used cheats in the past and you're just a very good player you're not going to ever run into any contact with this it'll never become a problem however if you are somebody that does like to strap on some cheats every once in a blue moon I would definitely think that you're going to be having some problems in the future considering that this is going to be something that DICE is going to be pushing very hard and very heavy now just in case you are not aware DICE's policy for banning cheaters is very strict in many accounts and this is going to be something that they're going to be following up with if there is evidence of you cheating may that be by a YouTube video or in many cases just having multiple PB bans I do fear that this will be something that will probably catch up to you sooner or later but again if you are a player that's never cheated and you don't have aspirations of cheating you'll never run into contact with this and this will really never be something that you have to worry about now of course if you guys happen to run into any cheaters while you're playing battlefield 4 or just the battlefield franchise by itself i would highly recommend that you guys try to look at their stats and see if they have any kind of abnormal stats and report it or if you do have the ability to record if you're on pc a lot of the software is free then i would definitely try to get some evidence of this occurring may that be by spectating the player that is cheating or even having it shown from your point of view especially when it comes down to the overall death. Now of course you guys always have the ability to go to battle log and find the player's name and report the incident by itself but if it's just one incident and it's one report just from you it may not always be seen as the most important by DICE. That's not to say that they don't value your information but if you do have evidence it's definitely going to be a lot better and it's going to hopefully result in the player being banned for their overall cheating abilities. But when it comes down to it guys that's really all the information for this week when it comes down to the news. Of course if you guys are interested in reading more information about what Fair Fight is I highly recommend checking the description considering that I will have the article linked in there for your viewing pleasure. But when it comes down to it guys, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next installation and until then this has been NMO and I'm going to be signing out guys. Peace.